What's up, guys? It's your boy RG Madon. I got another Wi-Fi and you battle for you today against some uh, against another fellow YouTuber by the name of Jay Smooth. He's a really cool guy. Please go check out his channel. In fact, I will leave a link in his channel in the description. So once again, please go check out his channel. Now, looking at this team preview, I'm using my um, test manual Sunny Day team, which it's about to become an official team. So expect the team analysis of it for it very soon. And um, I'm looking at his team. As long as I can get the sun up, my rapid Ash can take out that size until very easily. Do some nice damage with the solar beam against that frillish. Completely take out that croc rock. Uh, take out Mr. Mine. Pretty much take out everything on this team. The only thing I really have to worry about is that strike out speeding me and the croc rock because croc rocks is most likely choice scarf since I've used it in the past. The Moxie choice scarf just like Crocodile. Now, um, my Ronin Frost can do some nice work on this team as long as I'm able to do some nice prediction. Obviously, do some nice damage to the Frillish, do some nice damage to Crocorock, and uh, do some nice damage to both the Zep Striker and the Survivor. My Pelossum can take out the Sizen Toad, put anything to sleep, do some nice damage to that Frillish. My Chada can Encore, so that's very beautiful. It can really help me out against that Mr. Mime. And I don't really need Weezing this game. <laughs> Other than against the Croc Rock, but the Croc Rock really shouldn't be that much of a problem. And then Armaldo can help me out with the Mr. Mime. So that's pretty much how I see things as it is. Um, I'm going to have to once again look out for that Zep Striker, because Zep Striker is very scary, especially since it might have Volt Absorb or Lightning Rod. And the Croc Rock can hit my Rapid Ash pretty hard with a Choice Scarf Earthquake. Or hit my chat out pretty hard with a stone it. So once again, look out for those big threats. Anyway, let's get started with the game. He's going to lead off with his Survivor as I decide to lead off my Selena or my Blossom. Now, I was not expecting a Switch Arusha off the bat. In fact, I was predicting some form of a Sludge Wave. However, he does go for that Switch Switch, um, Switch me a choice spec as he does get my leftovers, but that's perfectly fine because I end up going for the Sleep Powder. And I stayed in figuring that I can take the hit since I am uh, max HP, max special defense. Anyway, he's going to switch out. Go out to his Mr. Mime as I decide to switch out. Until my Ronin Frost, fingering nothing on his team wants to take up the Mr. Mime, so it was a good switch. But he ended up switching out to Mr. Mime, most likely calling the Ronin Frost switch. That was a very good play on his part. Now I'm going to switch out now, going out into my Toby or my Chad on. And this, I have so much respect for this play. He goes for the copycat, copies my Volt switch, lands a crit, and knocks out Toby. That was a beautiful, beautiful play. I have so much respect for that play. In fact, it makes me want to use a copycat, Mr. Mime. That that play was just so beautiful. I can't my wor like my I can't say I can't express how beautiful that was in words. It was just a, it was a great play, great play. But anyway, I'm gonna send out my most and figure I can take anything from this thing as he ends up going for the bolt switch. Not gonna be able to knock me out. It's, it's not gonna be able to do half damage. It did about half damage, but not too much. As I'm just gonna go for an earthquake, safe earthquake just really wants to get damage on that big threat in the form of Zep Striker. Now, believe it or not, Seismitoad is a huge threat against this team if I do not have the sun up. And I know this, so I'm going to switch out now, and I'm going to go sh into my Selena, knowing I can definitely take a Hydro Pump, or um, if he decides to go for the Sludge Wave, I can definitely survive two Sludge Waves. But he ends up going for the Toxic, which, you know, that's fine by me. It tells me that the Seismitoad is more bulky. But at this point, I figure, you know what, I'm just going to go for the Sunny Day. But he ends up knockoffing my choice specs, which he told me that he completely forgot that he gave me the choice specs, which he knows, whatever. But honest to God, I thought he would switch considering grass type size with it. But anyway, now he definitely has to switch since I will be able to outspeed him hit him with the Giga Drain. So I'm going to call that. I'm going to switch out, go into my Rapid Dash, because nothing on his team wants to handle Rapid Dash at the moment. As he ends up switching out into Survivor, because Survivor pretty much walls my um selena pretty nicely but he's gonna pull off a double switch go back into the seismic to, re to resist the flare blitz and at this point i could go for another flare blitz it would definitely be able to take out the seismic toad however most people think i'm choice banded but i'm not i am life orbed as you will see and i can easily go for that solar beam and knock out that seismic toad, who is a big threat as long as my sun is not up so that's very nice that I'm able to knock that thing out, and in walks another big threat of his in the form of Zep Striker, who's very scary. I'm going to force, I'm going to be forced to switch out because of that blistering speech that it has, and he ends up going for the Volt Switch, calling the switch, which is fine by me because my Selena takes that like a boss. Selena's going to work, and she is taking hits like no other. Anyway, he's going to send in his Mr. Mime and the sunlight fades. I'm not too scared of this Mr. Mime since I already have a status and I know he likes to carry that copycat. And, but I can't go for the sleep powder. 
considering his fibers asleep, so I'm gonna switch out anyway. Go on to my motion, figuring that he might want to set up a light screen or reflect, but he ends up going straight for a psychic, and at this point, my Armaldo will go down to another psychic. So I played my Armaldo pretty bad this game, I'm not gonna lie. I played it really bad, in all honesty. So once again, Armaldo gets taken out, it's whatever though. I, you know, I still got ways to handle this, Mr. Mon. Now, I'm thinking, alright, what's my next best option? I can just go out into Rapidash, easily Flare Blitz this thing, it's going to go down. As he decides to switch out, he's going to go into his not much 100 or his Frillish, as I end up going for the Morning Sun, calling this switch, which is just beautiful. Now, at this point, I figured a Scald could do a lot of damage to me, but if I set up a Sunny Day, it's not going to do much. So I'm going to set up the Sunny Day, as he ends up going for the Taunt, which is fine by me, and this hurts me a little bit. I, unfortunately, miss have my Rapidash. So it has a nature that is a positive nature in physical attack, but a negative nature in special. I mean, not, not, not a positive nature in physical attack, a positive nature in speed, but a negative nature in special attack, which is a very bad problem. So I'm going to have to switch that up later on. But anyway, I'm going to switch out into my Runa Frost, knowing that this is a losing battle thanks to that. So at this point, he doesn't want to stay in against this to take a Thunderbolt. So he's going to switch out, go out into his Zepshrike, and I call this switch, and I'm going to go straight for the Blizzard. Not KOing the Zepshrike, which to be honest surprised me a little bit. However, because I am Choice Scarf, the Zepshrike will go down to the next Blizzard. So that's very good, because another big threat on his team in the form of Zepshrike is now gone, and really the only other big threat is the Crocorock. I'm going to switch out because this Mr. Mime can take the blizzards all day as he ends up going for the Thunder Wave as I switch out into my Selena, which is perfectly fine by me. One, because my Selena is already poisoned and I just dodged the Thunder Wave and obviously I don't want my Choice Scarf for the Thunder Wave. But anyway, he's going to hit me with a Psychic, does absolutely nothing as I go for the Sunny Day. Really at this point, I figured that Selena would get two-shotted and I just wanted a free switch out into my Rapidash. That way, my Rapidash won't be taking any more damage and I can take out this Mr. Mime. Now, like I said before, I stay in. I'm going to get a drain. And Selena went to work. Selena was a trooper this game, and I love it to death. It provided a lot of situations that I need by setting up that first sunny day and setting up this sunny day. So, Selena, I salute you. And like I said, I end up sending out my Jinjo Matic or my Rapidash against the Swimster Mime. Mean, he's going to end up switching. Not a big deal because I can easily go for the Flare Blitz. Even if that um, Frillish wanted to come in. It didn't matter because I do happen to carry the morning sun and the sun is up so he can't really take me out no matter what plus it gives me ample opportunity to recover my health as he ends up going for the nightshade anyway just trying to make sure I don't gain too much health doesn't matter at this point I'm just gonna go for a solar beam figuring that if he goes for another nightshade he's dead and if he goes for a recover well oh well you know I get a chance to crit him but um, he ends up going for the better move, going for the better play, and going for that recovery, getting all the HP up, and he's trying to life orb stall me at this point. I know that this is happening, so I'm gonna switch out, and I'm gonna go out into my Xavier or my Weezing, because my Weezing does carry the Thunderbolt. As he ends up going for the taunt on the turn, making trying to make sure I'm not able to get the Morning Sun afterwards. I'm gonna go for the Sludge Bomb. I'm really just fishing for the poison. In actuality, that was a terrible play on my part. But because of that, it made him think that, hey, I can't really touch him, so he's not going to go for the recover. But then I show him, hey, I got the Thunderbolt, and because he didn't go for that recover and instead goes for Nice Shade, I am able to take out that Frillish with the next Thunderbolt, which is just beautiful, because if I didn't go for that Sludge Bomb, he would have went for recover and would have survived, and it would have been a big problem because this Frillish would have still been around. So once again, the Frillish does go down, which is just beautiful. And at this point, I have a Burned Weezing at medium health with no form of Pain Split. In fact, I have Destiny Bond instead. And I knew that the Mr. Mime was going to come in, but Weezing did his job at this point. So goodbye, Weezing. You did your job. I don't need you anymore. I'm sorry. I love you. But anyway, I'm going to sit I'm going to sit here, and I'm just going to send out my Rapid Dash, because once again, the free switch against this Mr. Mime is all I need. He's going to switch out. He's going to go out to this Croc Rock as I decide to go for the Flare Blitz. Figuring if he stays in, it's going to knock out the Mr. Mime. And if he doesn't stay in and switches out, it's not the recoil damage and life or damage should not kill me, depending if he's like, depending because both uh, Superior and Croc Rock doesn't have that much high of an HP stat. So, luckily for me, I do survive both recoil damages as he pulls a double switch into his survivor. And I kind of figured he was going to do it, but I figured, you know what, Rotom Frost can take out a Mr. Mime, so I don't really need Rapid Dash anymore. So, I, I did predict that, and I was thinking going for the Morning Sun because I, I would have done that. But, um, 
And uh, once again, it's going for the flare, but it's not going to have those Viper. Now, it's 1v1. It's Mr. Mime versus Rotom Frost. And I'm going to go for the Thunderbolt as he goes for the Thunder Wave, trying to get the Paralysis on me, which is really which is really the only way he can honestly beat me at this point, barring a crit. So the next turn, I'm going. To, he's going to go for a Psychic, outspeeding me, obviously. He's going to do some decent chunk of damage. However, it doesn't really matter anymore because I'm just going to go for the Thunderbolt. Get the Paralyzation, and at this point, it's pretty much a good game, right, guys? Because one more Thunderbolt should be able to knock that thing out, and if not, two more should. But no, I get paralyzed, which really sucks, and then he's able to hit the Psychic, and I'm like, no, because at this point it might be a good game, but no, he gets a crit and knocks out my Rotom Frost, so that's a good game, Jay Smooth, um, pretty epic ending, if I do say so myself, um, if you ever want to get another battle, just hit me up, um, I'm Arjun Medao, and I'll see y'all later.